Now that the first season of Andor is over, I've seen some people looking for similar shows to watch while we all wait for season two, and I have some recommendations. So if you've got an Andor-sized hole in your heart, give these a try. First up, The Expanse. It's on Amazon Prime, and it's amazing. Set about 300 years in the future, the solar system has three main political factions, Earth, Mars, and the Belt. People talked about Andor having a slow burn, and The Expanse is very similar in that regard. The first few episodes do a lot of heavy lifting to set up the politics of the universe. There is still plenty of action, but I'll be honest, it took me a couple of tries to fully grasp all the moving parts, but I promise you it's worth the effort. There comes a moment in in the first season where everything clicks, everything that has been set up starts to come undone, the series takes off running, and it never stops. I remember when season 4 came out, every episode released on Amazon, and I sat down to just watch one, and then I watched all 10 in a row. It's full of great, complex characters, the pacing and the tone feel very similar to Andor, it's dark and heavy and often bleak, but there is always hope on the other side. The themes of community, found family, and working together for the betterment of all are very much in line with Star Wars. Actually, the writers of the books have written a Star Wars book as well. I've only read the first three of the nine books and I like them too, so you have some options if you want to get into The Expanse. If you only get Give one series a shot, I would make it this one. Next, I've got to recommend the 2004 version of Battlestar Galactica. I was comparing Andor to BSG just after seeing the first trailer. It's one of my favorite series of all time. Humanity is nearly destroyed by their sworn enemies, the robotic Cylons. Only a handful of people are left as they struggle to survive and find a new home while evading the Cylons. The clincher is the Cylons found a way to disguise themselves as humans, so there is a whole extra level of not knowing who to trust. Or some Cylons are sleepers agents and don't even know their Cylons until they're activated and they do something terrible. It's awesome. Again, it can be very bleak, but it never loses sight of hope. It's got plenty of politics to explore, it's not overly pulpy, it definitely leans more into science fiction than fantasy, but there are some mystical elements. I will say that there are some rough stretches of episodes, it's not amazing through and through, but it's balanced out by some of the most fist-pumping awesome moments I've ever seen on television as well as some jaw-dropping Cylon reveals. And Katie Sackhoff is in it, if you want to see her before her Bo-Katan days. You can stream the whole series on Peacock. It can be a little confusing to start, but watch the miniseries first. It is essential to the rest of the series. Then start Season 1 with the episode titled 33, which is amazing. Hopefully, that'll have you hooked. And for one more science fiction series I have to recommend For All Mankind. It's created by Ronald D. Moore, who also produced Battlestar. People have likened it to The Expanse as well, so all of my recommendations are kind of related. For All Mankind is an alternate history series where the Soviet Union beats America to the moon. And of course, Americans just can't accept that, so basically the space race never ends, and what does that look like? The story begins in the late 60s and spans decades. It's very character-driven, there isn't a ton of action, so to speak. The action is the dialogue. But it's the Cold War, so you know that tension is going to build and build, and eventually it has to explode. It's very much like Andor in that way. It completed its third season this year. A fourth is on the way, and I believe there is a seven-season plan for the show on Apple Plus TV. Okay, so those are all my non-Star Wars picks. Maybe I'll help someone expand their horizons a bit. I love all three of those series, but what if you want to stick within Star Wars? What should you watch or read then? Rogue One is the obvious choice. I'm sure everyone watching this video has seen it already, but I personally can't wait to go through it again to see how Andor has affected how we watch that movie. I will also throw out The Bad Batch. It's possible some of you haven't taken the dive into Star Wars animation yet. The series follows a group of specialized clone troopers in the days following Order 66 and the rise of the Empire. I was surprised at how they focused on some of the smaller ways the Empire limits freedoms and grasps more and more control. It's probably the most, quote, adult of all the animated series, probably because it very much appeals to fans who grew up with the Clone Wars. It's still completely accessible to a younger audience, but comparing the first season of The Bad Batch to the first season of The Clone Wars, it definitely leans away from being overly silly. Season 1 is on Disney Plus right now, and Season 2 begins on January 4th. 
I think I should also mention Star Wars Rebels, because it's telling a very similar and kind of parallel story to Andor. It's also an animated series, and I would say its first season is sillier, but it absolutely ages up with its audience, and the first season takes place at the same time as the first season of Andor. The stakes are different, I'll warn you of that. While Cassian was stuck in prison, Ezra and his crew were stealing fruit. But do not let that dissuade you, Rebels is awesome. It explores the same themes as Andor, just in a different way, and you'll be prepping up to meet some of the same characters in live action when Ahsoka comes out next year. Finally, I have some books for you to check out. Rebel Rising by Beth Revis tells the backstory of Jyn Erso from Rogue One. In doing so, it also gives us a look into Saw Gerrera and the way he fights the Empire. There is one scene in that book that lives rent-free in my mind, and I can't not think of it any time Saw appears. It completely changed my view on the character, so for that reason alone, I need to include it in this list. And finally, look into the Alphabet Squadron trilogy of books by Alexander Freed. They follow a squadron of pilots in the final days of the Galactic Civil War. They feel just like Andor in tone, very firmly set within Star Wars, but also very grounded. We focus on the everyday people of the Rebellion and what this fight means to them. The first and third are two of my all-time favorite Star Wars books. This trilogy feels so connected to Andor and its themes. They're in that exact same vein of Star Wars, dealing with more complex themes and characters. But those are all my recommendations for some stories to check out after Andor, both in and outside of Star Wars. Let me know your own recommendations in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for all our Andor coverage, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page for our video reactions and audio commentaries for every new episode. And you can check out this playlist for all of our existing Andor content. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.